I'm Ashley Dvorkin with a unique Fox 411 throwback Thursday for you, a little 90s nostalgia, as the unauthorized Saved by the Bell story premieres Labor Day on Lifetime. Joining us with a preview of this behind-the-scenes take on the hit comedy full of Bayside Cheers, Burgers at the Mac, and Giant Cell Phones is Dylan Everett, who portrays Mark Paul Gossler, the actor who played Zach Morris. So welcome, Dylan. Thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having me. Now, let's talk about the part of their story that this film focuses on. What sort of behind the scenes, what are some surprising moments that it shows? Uh, well, you know what, I don't want to give away too, too much, but uh, it's, 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 a, it's a behind the scenes look at, you know, what the actors were going through whilst making the show. And, you know, it, 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 it really plays on, you know, uh, all the struggles that, you know, normal teenagers go through. Uh, multiplied by you know the fact that they are they're young you know actors and they were on this hit show and it was it was so popular and uh, you know these kids had so much responsibility at such a young age uh, but yeah I mean there's there's you know there's some scandals there's there's uh, there's some love triangles there's a little bit of friction between the cast and and, and producers and and family members and uh, yeah there's a little bit of everything in there so what account is this based on what was the source material that you had for research that you were pulling from uh, you know what, the, the movie is based on, on uh, you know, interviews and, and behind the scenes footage and, and stuff like that. It's all independent sources and stuff. And for me, you know, I mean, we live in, a, in a, an age of information and it's right there at the, the tips of our fingers. So, I mean, my, you know, for me doing research, it's, it's really easy. I've got, you know, this database, you know. So I was able to find, you know, really rich uh, information on, on Mark Paul and on Zach and, like I said, you know, there was there was interviews to use and to play off of and to, and to draw from. So I had I had quite a bit to uh, to use. Sure. Um, have you seen or gotten any reaction from original cast members? Yeah, you know, I know that uh, I know a few of them have spoken out uh, on the movie and and expressed their opinions. I know uh, Dennis Haskin and I think it was Elizabeth Berkley aren't overly thrilled with the movie and said they may not watch it. Which you know, it's a little disappointing because. I, I, you know, I really feel that the movie we made is, is a love letter to the show, and I, I think it would change their minds, and, and I really, I do hope that, you know, they give it a chance and kind of tune in. I know Mark Paul was asked about it, and he acknowledged it and said, yeah, you know, I'm aware of it, and we'll see what happens, we'll see where they take it. So, uh, yeah, it'll be interesting to see, you know, what they think of it after it's aired and, you know, and, and if they watch it. Yeah, and then how much did you know about Saved by the Bell yourself going in? I, you know what? Not a whole lot. It was it was a little bit before my time. I was I was too young. I think the show was actually you know over before I was even born. <laughs> so it was it wasn't something I grew up with, but it was something I, I grew up hearing about. You know, it, it was it was a show that always got comparisons, um, and it really was the, the sort of the quintessential kid show. And uh, you know, it's as iconic as it is for a reason. Um, so yeah, I mean, for me, it wasn't until I started doing my research that I discovered the world of Say by the Bell. And, well, let's have some 90s fun then. Be honest. Did you know what that device was when that famous phone was given to you? Were you like, what is this? <laughs> I thought it was one of those things that people would carry on their backs in Vietnam and call an airstrike. So I was like, what is this? What do you mean it's a cell phone? I can't put it in my pocket. Was that um, one of your favorite no, parts? I mean, that's... It is. I mean, it's such an iconic... That Even the brick phone, you know? I mean, Zach Morris is such an iconic character, and the brick phone is such an iconic accessory for Zach Morris that, I mean, yeah, there's, there's a couple scenes in the movie where, you know, it makes an appearance, and I was glad we were able to squeeze that in there, because like you said, it's such a, such a Zach Morris thing, you know, a Zach Morris brick phone. It really so, is. So, uh, yeah, yeah, that was, that was cool. <laughs> so from the phone to the wardrobe, what, now that you've gotten to sort of uh, live this, what 90s fad would, do you wish would make a comeback? <laughs> yeah, really? Um, <laughs> big, colorful, wool knit sweaters. I, I think I walked away with maybe two or three of them from set because they were so ridiculous and crazy. Like, I don't think my grandmother could have knitted me a sweater for Christmas that was as crazy as the ones I was wearing on that <laughs> set. And that's saying something. She knits some crazy sweaters. Nice. So, yeah, man, I think I, I kind of like the, the sweaters. And you know what? I really dug the big hair, too, man. I'm a, I'm a big hair kind of guy. So yeah. That, it was, was, that was cool. Too. It was quite a look. And blonde. Blondes, a little different yeah. you had to, <laughs> for this role. Well, Dylan, thank you so much. I know yeah. we're out of time, but appreciate you joining us today. Cheers. Thanks a lot, Ashley.
And again, the unauthorized Saved by the Bell story premieres Labor Day on Lifetime. Thanks so much for watching. For Fox 411, I'm Ashley Dvorkin.